really extremely basic strategy for a dimensional battle, and not only that, but just battle in general for Iron Throne, is going to be to utilize this little circle here in the middle. So if you see here, we have the infantry is better against cavalry, cavalry is better against bowmen, and bowmen is better against infantry. So I'm looking at the tiers of the troops that the enemy has compared to the tiers of the troops I have. So I'm just going to do one up just to show you that, hey, I have only tier one. So, this person has two tier two infantry. So what I want to utilize is I want to utilize two tier one distance just to be equal to. Then he also has three cavalry. I need three infantry to combat that. His cavalry is going to be attacking my distance, my bowmen. So I'm going to increase my bowmen by one. I'm also going to increase my infantry also by one because I want to destroy his cavalry before his cavalry can destroy my my bowmen. And then I'll just put the rest into my cavalry just to be there and be square. Alright, so now let's talk about our strategy in our formation. So, our formation. If we click on a troop and we highlight him, do you see how it highlights the cavalry? So, I'm going to turn off scenes. I'm highlighting the cavalry. So, I want to. My infantry is going to attack the cavalry. So, I'm going to line them up right head on to each other. I essentially want these guys to f go head on, and then I'm going to have my cavalry flank. So my cavalry, I want them to flank. Now this is just something I know from just basic military strategy. I don't know how it actually works with Iron Throne. You know, I'm a noob. I'm a noob. We're going to figure it out together. That's what I love about this, is that I can figure this out with you all. And then my, d my bowmen are highlighting the infantry. So, if I put one in the middle, I'm going to try to flank right in the middle. Now, that's going to kill my bowmen. However, I'm doing this because then my bowmen on the outside will be able to come in and support. So, by throwing this guy in the middle, I'm spreading him out. However, he has an advantage over the infantry to begin with. Now, these cavalry are going to try to kill him. That's why I'm trying to flank his cavalry on both sides. So, I've got him head on, and I've got him flanked. Flanked. And then we'll put Siege right in the middle. Just to attack everyone. Alright, let's see how this goes. We'll just speed it up a little bit. Alright. And right off the bat, you can see I am surrounding all of them. And just like that, they're dwindling down. Now their cavalry did rush. Their cavalry rush tried to take my siege down. And they're doing a good job with that. However, I have one siege. I'm not worried about my siege. I knew I could kill their cavalry. Now their cavalry is faster, so you know I have that, I have that in mind. But I just surrounded them. Your Grace. I constantly have them surrounded from the, the beginning. So I hope that gives you a little more information as to the true formations, as far as Iron Throne. You see, I'm already making great videos, ladies and gentlemen. Plenty more to come.